Alright guys, so I promised another video on riding the e-foil and I've actually ridden it twice now so I've got some, I guess maybe insightful tips on riding it. I've, it's it's a lot of fun and it's harder than it looks. There's definitely a learning curve and I'm I'm getting a little bit better. I'm still doing touch and goes but I've gotten to where I can control the, the actual foiling part a little bit better. But so uh, launching the e-foil and getting it back out of the water is um, a little nerve-wracking at first. My first attempt was probably garbage and uh, now I've gotten a little bit better at it and I've got some other stuff I bring with me to help with that and so you would see that in the video which I think is pretty uh, I'd say pretty useful for those that like if you don't have access to a ramp and you have a dock that's and the dock I'm on is like probably that much out of the water so that's yeah there's no relativity for that uh, that's like maybe a foot out of the water I would say um, so this will just kind of show you how to get it in and out uh, the way I do it which I feel like safer for the board and I could use the ramp but I just feel like if I slipped, it could be bad, and then I have to go put my truck somewhere. So, anyways, uh, I'll get to the video, and, and uh, stay tuned for the end of the video because I will give you some of my impressions after like actually riding it, and some just kind of some things I've learned, and kind of what to do, maybe what not to do, and also uh, for those that are new, I have my referral link in the description below, and that gets you 250 off customization credit if you are interested in getting one. And if not, either way, just enjoy the video. So the last thing you want to do before you actually ride it is just check the bolts. Make sure they're still tight. So, just, that one's good. A little bit of a turn on that one. All right, those are good. I'm gonna check the top ones. So this is the one I had to tighten last time. After getting out, it was a little loose there, so I tightened it back up, which I say to check it after a ride, so. Make sure to do that. Let me get the thing out. So you have another hex key for this. So we'll just tighten that. That feels pretty good. Alright, and now you're good to go. Now the battery's installed, the safety lock's on, so you can press the trigger all day and it won't do anything. But if you hold it down for three seconds, the safety lock will pop off and then you'll be able to go. Alright, so now I'll hold down the safety lock for three seconds. It's unlocked. I'm on power level seven. Now it's time to go. Okay, here's some footage showing me going from my stomach to my knees and then to my feet to get fully stood up on the board. Um, look at this guy taking forever. Now, um, so I could have been going a little, like a little bit faster, just to get up a little easier. Um, so once you finally get up, then you have to start, uh, I guess, shifting weight forwards. What I've done to get on plane, and then you can just start doing some touch and goes. So this is, yeah, <laughs> a little high there. Um, nice little smack down. Then another view, just some more touch and goes, and I pretty much just went a straight line, like 
I don't know, as, as far as I could, being comfortable within the area, and then I would just turn around uh, while I'm not trying to foil. Obviously, I would just lean forward, make a turn, and then come back the next way. So, look at this kid. <laughs> Garbage. Um, no, if you're going to fall, it's easier just to send the fall. Just jump. Um, it's way less painful. Um, none of the falls ever hurt, but, you know, it's just easier if you just jump in rather than go sideways. And just some more touch and goes here. Not too bad. I got a little bit more comfortable at this point, I want to say, so they're, like, a little bit more graceful. And then next I'll show how to get the foil out. It's as comfortable as it looks. Now we just have to rotate. Alright guys, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys who haven't seen a lot of like how you get the foil in and out and like a little bit of like me learning as I go because I can't fully foil yet. I can do touch and goes. That's about as far as I've gotten and that was my second ride. Um, I've gotten the battery down to like 40% each time and I'm like pretty much tired after that. So <laughs> uh, I mean I would say uh, maybe once I get better at foiling it won't be as tiring because I, I only felt like four or five times a day and they weren't it's pretty you know you've seen one of them where I jump off one of them was a little bit nastier where I kind of like went up out of the water and then flew off but none of it hurt it's just more you know awkward than anything but it is like so addicting to like want it like I want to go back out right now and just <laughs> try and get uh, more control over the actual foil but um, I plan to post more videos as I like kind of learn so you guys can kind of see as I learn as well uh, and just try and get better at this thing. So right now I'd say total, I have about two and a half hours um, on the board and I can start to feel that I'm, I'm gaining more control as I come up to foil. So once you get up and then you can kind of like hold it for a little bit longer and go. Um, and I'm just trying not to get greedy and stay up and then wipe out, but wiping out is part of it and it's really not that bad. Um, considering you're not going super fast and you're really not that high up off the water, it's, you know, it's like when you wipe, when you wipe out when you wake surf, it's honestly it's not that bad so uh, stay tuned for that and like I said my referral link is in the description for anybody that is interested in getting a board and in the meantime if you have any questions or anything about the board or my experience uh, just either shoot me a DM or uh, post a comment in the section below thanks